Hey, what's up everybody? SBB with Lazy Gaming. Thank you for the view. I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, today we've got episode two of this deck, and if you didn't see episode one, basically it's going to be a series that spotlights decks that me and my clan use that seem to be working really, really well. Like, I don't use a lot of these cards sometimes, and it's good just to take a look and see how guys are getting it done. Today we've got Seko, who's been running this uh, Inferno Dragon Golem deck that has just been awesome. So at 3.5 Elixir, he's got the Log, Poison, Spear Gobs, Ice Golem, Archers, and the Skelly Hut. And that's a pretty cheap Golem deck, in, in my opinion. I don't use the Golem that often, but um, he's able to cycle through these cards really, really fast when, uh, when he puts the Golem down. Guys, let's jump right into it. Let's take a look at a few replays. All right. So right off the bat, a Golem against Wolf here. And quickly, Wolf is going to respond and actually put this Minion Horde down. And a good poison there by Seko because that freeze would have cost him the tower. Um, so he's up. I mean, I don't know if he's up on Elixir right now, but uh, he's got that golem full health going down the right right lane. And E barbs are gonna come out level 12 to try to stop this. Um, to try to stop this golem. So the golem to the tower, uh, mega minion down, ice golem in to tank. For the rest of these spear gobs and archers, look at this. Look at this. Going to town on that tower. He's going to have to fireball all of that. And just like that, guys, one golem push right off the bat. Tower down to 925. Well played. All right, now he builds his elixir back up, resets. Throws another golem down here on the right hand lane. And quickly, uh, Wolf is going to go ahead and push the other lane with a hog rider and a nice skelly hut there to pull him over. And also a log, one hit by the hog, and you got a full health golem coming down the right lane here, which Wolf is going to try to defend with a I um, I'm sorry, a wizard, and Seko's going to quickly poison that, and he's going to throw the E barbs in the poison as well, and that is the first tower of the game, well played by Seko, and he's got the easy these E barbs coming down. And a Valkyrie to defend here, and he quickly puts down an Ice Golem. Archer's in the left-hand lane, trying to pull that all over. Skelly Hut in the middle. He was able to get those to come over. Put in the Spear Gobs, which he probably didn't really need to put down, but well defended. Ar I'm sorry, Minion Horde comes down, and Poison. He's going to go ahead and Poison all of that, so not too many hits there from the Minion Horde. Well played. Yeah, guys, use your poisons defensively if you need to. I do it a lot, too, with the rockets and stuff like that. He's got a hog coming down, and he puts a golem down. He didn't have a skelly head to defend, so he wouldn't put down a, a golem. And that hog is going to go ahead and do work on that tower. Archers are going to try to get it, but no. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. Now these E-barbs coming down to defend against the um, uh, golem. And finally, we see the Inferno Dragon for the first time in the game, and it's going to start to do some work in there. And we've got the golem on the tower, the golemites. Poison on the tower as well. Mini Nord comes out. Good little push there, kind of chipped away a little bit. And here we go. He's got the ice golem archers behind it. We've got uh, the hog coming in down the right hand lane. He's going to use the spear gobs to go ahead and try to, to take care of that. And the e barbs coming down the right hand lane too. But he's got the skelly hut up. Very good defense here. Look at these archers over here. Another ice golem over there to defend all of that. None of that got in there. Uh, he's got a full health golem on the tower. This is not good. GG. Well played. Wow. Guys, uh, use that poison defensively if you need to. Seko did a few times in that game. Uh, came out on top. Let's take a look at another replay. All right. Good first match against Wolf. Right now we got a level 11 Dairon that uh, Seko is going up against. And uh, starts off with an ice golem there down the right hand lane. And we've got an executioner coming down that same lane. Archer's in the back. Guys, if um, you have some of these cards, try this deck. You know, uh, Seko's got it down pretty, pretty good, as you can see here. And now look, we got an RG coming out. And he's going to go ahead and try to poison that executioner since he's going to be chopping away at that ice golem for a little bit. And defensively on this RG, we've got the uh, Inferno Dragon and the Skelly Hut. And that is going to work its way all the way to the tower here. Let's see if he can defend it. Uh, he's going to pull out a, a wizard. And that's going to do the work there. Okay. Okay. Now he's got this uh, wizard coming down the lane. 
Ice Golem to defend, nicely done. Those are great positive elixir trades, you guys. Um, take a look into it, man. That's how. That's what helps you guys win games for sure. Definitely. Ice Wizard in the back, and then finally we see the Golem. So he doesn't play the Golem, um, you know, right off the bat every single time. Sometimes it's not as in rotation. Ice Golem is a good, uh, a, a, a good starting card as well. And right here we got the E Barbs down the left hand lane. We got the Spear Gobs. Uh, we've got we got the Skelly Hut, and look at that, it's been pulled all the way across the lane uh, onto that Golem, which was a great play there. He, um, Dairon, uh zapped the Spear Gobs, and then uh, the Skelly Hut, he didn't know the Skelly Hut was coming. And look at this, Poison on the Executioner Tower, and Spear Gobs. I believe that was a Gob Gang, but a uh, nice push there. Uh, getting this tower all the way down to about 600. It's gonna be 722, and now he's gotta defend against the Ice Wizard, Executioner, and yep, the RG coming down, and look, he's gonna throw down a Golem, and what's he gonna use to defend this? It's gonna be pretty good. Oh, he tried Spear Gobs, it got rocked. Uh, Ice Golem in there, but that RG is chipping away. He's got the uh, Archers behind that, but the Golem is finally gonna make its way through. And it's not going to make it to the tower, blow up right there, and then um, here come the E-Bars execution. Another golem now, right at the bridge to protect those archers. Those archers are going to start to do work. Inferno Dragon coming down behind the golem. Gob Gang, Poison, all of the tower. Uh, the golemites look like they're going to get a couple hits off. And now we got the RG coming down, good Skelly Hut, and that Inferno Dragon still defending, Archer still going, Ice Golem going in. Guys, that Ice Golem is such a great little tank to, to save cards, and he saved those Archers for a very, very long time. Got the first tower of the game. 3-2-1, GG, Seko, another great win, that one against an RG, um, and E-Barb, so wow. All right, two good replays, let's see, one more replay. And uh, right off the bat, Goblins, pump. We haven't seen the pump yet. Let's see how he looks like a poison. He's not too happy about that. All right, well played. Very nicely done. We haven't seen the pump yet, so let's see how he responds uh, with this golem. Um, I'm pretty surprised golem and no pump. Um, 3.5 elixir. It's very efficient, uh, very quick. He can cycle. He's got a lot of cards. I think it was five cards, if I remember correctly, that were under three elixir uh, and right now we got a giant coming at him inferno dragon to defend and look at that golem right there he's gonna defend or I'm sorry soak up all of this damage from the witch Pekka ice wizard and that inferno dragon wow man I'm already sold I, I haven't even watched the end of this replay yet and I believe that this deck is pretty good we got a, a princess all right so we got archers for the princess Man, that Inferno Dragon is awesome. Uh, five Elixir, you guys. Um, and once it locks on the tower, look out. But defensively also, man, it's a great, great tool. Uh, it really burns down um, RGs, uh, Golems. Uh, it does a lot of work, as you can see. Um, so we got a Pump, Poison. Uh, he's going to make sure that he doesn't get any, any huge advantage uh, on this push because he does have, a, uh, I believe, a pretty high-level P.E.K.K.A. Um, Along with the witch and giant, that's a pretty strong combo coming to the lane. So he makes sure that he doesn't get too big of a of an advantage there. And uh, he starts off slow in the back with the golem. We've got an ice whiz Pekka coming at it, and uh, that golem is such a strong tank. And then uh, that inferno dragon really just takes down everything else. Um, so we got the goblins with a really good positive elixir advantage there um, on that princess, it's a plus one. It's not nothing huge, but everything accounts. Um, the giant going down really, really quickly. Same uh, with the P.E.K.K.A. here. Um, Ice Golem going in, try to, to tank a little bit, which he does. And then uh, look at this, Golem right at the bridge. He really plays an aggressive uh, at the double elixir. And uh, once he gets it in there, man, it's pretty much game over because he's gonna throw that poison on anything that's trying to defend it, especially if you don't have a, uh, a building to actually pull that thing. Um, it's pretty much game over. So, uh, guys, just a few replays from Seckle here that uh, show him dominating with that golem. No pump deck, which is very surprising. Uh, GG Seko, good job. 
Well played. So awesome deck there by Seco from Freak Nasty. What's up, Freak Nasty Clan? Guys, it, Freak Nasty, if you have uh, a deck that dominates like this, uh, let me see it. Show those replays, okay? Because I'll, I'll get you in the next episode of uh, this deck. But, um, guys, if you like the video, if it helps you out, if you run a golem, whatnot, um, please give the video a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Um, that's going to do it for this episode of this deck. Number two, episode two. Uh, thank you so much. See ya.